Hi, it's just me, Jeanette, today, and today I'm going to be reading the Bible, and I'm going to be reading from the Songs of Songs, the Song of Songs. This one is rarely covered in church, so Song of Songs is a poem of love. Passionate words, erotic imagery, extravagant statements of how physical, attractive, and desirable that special someone is. This powerful, romantically and sexually charged writing isn't out of some romance novel. It's a from a book right in the middle of the Holy Bible. What is this mysterious Song of Songs, otherwise known as the Song of Solomon, doing in the Bible? In the past several thousand years, a lot of people have puzzled over that question. It may have been written for the wedding of King Solomon. It may be the story of a young woman Solomon wanted to marry, but who returned to her shepherd lover, teaching the king the meaning of true, pure love. While readers speculate about the lover's identity, Song of Psalms make no apologies for its subject matter or its candor. It simply continues to fascinate, excite, embarrass, and captivate its readers. Many of us like to make a clear division between spirit and flesh, but Song of Songs merged the two and separately and separately, its language is sensuous and eternal at the same time. First of all, it celebrates sexual love between a woman and a man. Some Christians also interpret this book as an expression of love between Christ and the church. All believers. Other Christians note their so that Song of Songs is never quoted in the New Testament. This beautiful book can be liberating for a woman in any stage of life or any marital status. If you feel inhibited about your sexuality, this book's jo joyous honesty can free you. If you regret your past sexual behavior, this book affirms purity and commitment to one life partner. If your marriage is full of criticism, this book exemplifies the tender words that breathe life into a relationship. If you are single, this book reminds you of a love worth waiting for. If you have lost your life's partner, the book floods your heart with memories and gratitude for human love. No matter what your situation, read Songs of Songs with pleasure and without shame, rejoicing in its physical and spiritual writtenness. So Song of Songs at a glance. Two lovers approach each other. They anticipate the pleasures of being together. The man praises the woman. The woman praises the man. The desire of the lovers is only for each other. Love is stronger than anything else. So let me start reading from chapter 1. Love is better than wine. This is Solomon's most beautiful song. She speaks, Kiss me tenderly. Your love is better than wine, and you smell so sweet. All the young women adore you. The very mention of your name is like spread in perfume. Hurry, my king. Let's hurry. Take me to your house. The young women speak, We are happy for you, and we praise your love even more than wine. She speaks, Young woman in Jerusalem, it is only right that you should adore him. My skin is dark and beautiful like a tent in the desert. Or like Solomon's curtains. Don't stare at me just because the sun has darkened my skin. My brothers were angry with me. They make me work in the vineyard, and so I neglected my complexion. Don't let the other shepherds think badly of me. I'm not one of those women who shamelessly follow after shepherds. My darling, I love you. Where do you feed your sheep and let them rest at noon? He speaks. My dearest, if you don't know, just follow the path of the sheep. Then feed your young goats near the shepherd's tents. You may as gracefully as the pony that leads the chariot of the king. Earnings add to your beauty and you wear a necklace. I mean earrings. Earrings add to your beauty and you wear a necklace of precious stones. Let's make you some jewelry of gold woven with silver. She speaks, My king, while you were on your couch, my love was a magic charm. My darling, you are perfumed between my breasts. Your flower blossoms from the garden of Ingerdi. He speaks, My darling, you are lovely, so very lovely. Your eyes are those of a dove. She speaks, My love, you are handsome, truly handsome. The fresh green grass will be our wedding bed in the shade of cedar and cypress trees. Love makes everything beautiful, chapter 2. She speaks, I'm merely a rose from the land of Sharon, a lily from the valley. He speaks, my darling, when compared with other young women, you are a lily among thorns. 
she speaks, and you, my love, are an apple tree among trees of the forest. Your shade brought me pleasure. Your fruit was sweet. You led me to your banquet room and showered me with love. Refresh and strengthen me with raisins and apples. I am hungry for love. Put your left hand under my head and embrace me with your right arm. Young woman of Jerusalem, promise me by the power of deer and gazelles never to awaken love before it is ready. So I'm reading from the contemporary English version, so this may be a little different than the, the Bibles that you read from. But it makes it more clear to understand it. Okay. Winter is past. She speaks. I hear the voice of the one I love as he comes leaping over mountains and hills. Like a deer or a gazelle, now he stands outside our wall looking through the window and speaking to me. He speaks. My darling, I love you. Let's go away together. Winter is past. The rain has stopped. Flowers cover the earth. It's a time to sing. The cooing of doves is heard in our land. Fig trees are bearing fruit, while blossoms on grapevines fill the air with perfume. My darling, I love you. Let's go away together. You're my dove, hiding among the rocks. On the side of a cliff, let me see how lovely you are. Let me hear the sound of your melodious voice. Our vineyards in, are in blossom. We must catch the little foxes that destroy the vineyards. She speaks, My darling, I'm yours and you are mine, as you feed your sheep among the lilies. Pretend to be a young deer dancing on mountain slopes until daylight comes and shadows fade away. Beautiful dream, she speaks. While in bed at night, I reach for the one I love with heart and soul. I look for him, but he wasn't there. So I search through the town for the one I love. I looked on every street, but he wasn't there. I even asked the guards patrolling the town, Have you seen the one I love so much? Right after that, I found him. I held him and would not let go until I had taken him to the home of my mother. Young women in Jerusalem, promise me by the power of deer and gazelles never to awaken love before it's ready. The groom and the wedding party, their friends speak. What do we see approaching from the desert like a cloud of smoke? When it comes to sweet smell of spices, include mirth and frankincense. It's kind Solomon carried on a throne, surrounded by 60 of Israel's best soldiers. Each of them wears a sword. They're experts at fighting, even in the dark. The throne is made of trees from Lebanon. Its posts are silver, the back is gold, and the seat is covered with purple cloth. You women of Jerusalem have taken great care to furnish the inside. Now come and see the crown given to Solomon by his mother on his happy wedding day. What a beautiful bride. He speaks, my darling, you're lovely, so very lovely. As you look through your veil, your eyes are those of a dove. Your hair tosses about as gracefully as goats. Coming down from Gilead, your teeth are whiter than sheep freshly washed. They match perfectly, not one is missing. Your lips are crimson cords, your mouth is sharply. Behind your veil are hidden, beautiful rosy cheeks. Your neck is more graceful than the Tower of David. Decorate with thousands of warrior sheaves. I mean shields. Your breasts are perfect. They are twin deer feeding among lilies. I'll hasten to those hills sprinkled with sweet perfume and stay there till sunrise. My darling, you're lovely in every way. My bride together will get we'll leave Lebanon. We'll say goodbye to the peaks of Mount Amana, Senor and Hermon. Where lions and leopards live in the caves. My bride, my very own, you've stolen my heart. With one glance from your eyes and the glow of your necklace, you have stolen my heart. Your love is sweeter than wine. The smell of your perfume is more fragrant than spices. Your lips are a honeycomb, milk and honey. Flow from your tongue. Your dress has the aroma of cedar trees from Lebanon. My bride, my very own, you are a garden, a fountain closed off to all others. Your arms are vines covered with delicious fruits and all sorts of spices. Hannah, nard, saffron... Calmus, cinnamon, frankincense, myrrh, and aloes, all the finest spices. Your spring in the garden, a fountain of pure water, and a refreshing stream from Mount Lebanon. She speaks, let the north wind blow, the sound wind too, let them spread the aroma of my garden, so the one I love. My enter and taste is delicious fruits. He speaks, 
My bride, my very own, I come to my garden and enjoy its spices. I eat my honeycomb and honey. I drink my wine and milk. Their friends speak, eat and drink until you're drunk with love. Another dream, she speaks. I was asleep but dreaming. The one I love was at the door, knocking and saying, My darling, my very own, my flawless dove, open the door for me. My head is drenched with evening dew. But I already undressed and bathed my feet. Should I dress again and get my feet dirty? Then my darling's hand reached to open the latch, and my heart stood still. When I rose to open the door, my hands and my fingers dipped with perfume. My heart stood still while he spoke to me, but when I opened the door, my darling had disappeared. I searched and shouted, but I could not find him. There was no answer. Then I was found by the guards patrolling the town and guarding the wall. They beat me up and stripped off my robe. Young woman at Jerusalem, if you find the one I love, please say to him, she is weak with desire. Their friends speak, most beautiful of women, why is the one you love more special than others? Why do you speak of us to tell how you feel? She speaks, he's handsome and healthy, the most outstanding among ten thousand. His head is purest gold, his hair is wavy, black as a raven, his eyes are a pair of doves, bathing in a stream flowing with milk. His face is a garden of sweet smelling spices. His lips are lilies dripping with perfume. His arms are branches of gold covered with jewels. His body, body is ivory, decorated with sapphires. His legs are columns of marble of, on feet of gold. He stands there majestic like Mount Lebanon and its choice cedar trees. His kisses are sweet. I desire him so much. Young woman of Jerusalem, he is my lover and friend. Their friends speak. Most beautiful of women, tell us where he has gone. Let us help you find him. She speaks, my darling has gone down to his garden of spices, where he'll feed his sheep and gather lilies. I am his, and he is mine, as he feeds his sheep among the lilies. He speaks, my dearest, the citizens of Tirzah and Jerusalem are not as lovely as you. Your charms are more powerful than all the stars in the heavens. Turn away your eyes, they make me melt. Your hair tosses about as gracefully as goats. Coming down from Gilead. Your teeth are whiter than sheep freshly washed. They match perfectly, not one is missing. Behind your veil are hidden beautiful rosy cheeks. What if I could have sixty queens, eighty wives, and thousands of others? You would be my only choice, my flawless dove. The favorite child of your mother, the young woman, the queens, and all the others, tell how excited you are as they sing your praise. You are majestic as the morning sky, glorious as the moon, blinding as the sun. Your charms are more powerful than all the stars above. She speaks, I went down to see if blossoms were on the walnut trees, grapevines, and fruit trees, but in my imagination I was suddenly riding on a glorious chariot. Their friends speak, dance, dance, beautiful woman from Shulam, let us see you dance. She speaks, what do you want to see, this woman from Shalom dancing with the others? He speaks, you're a princess and your feet are graceful in the sandals. Your thighs are works of art, each one a jewel. Your navel is a wine glass filled to be overflowing. Your body is full and slender like a bundle of wheat, bound together by lilies. Your breasts are like twins of a deer, your neck is like ivory, and your eyes sparkle like the pools of Heshbon by the age of Bath Rabin. Your nose is beautiful like Mount Lebanon, above the city of Damascus. Your head is held high like Mount Carmel. Your hair is so lovely, it holds a king prisoner. You're beautiful, so very desirable. You're tall and slender like a palm tree, and your breasts are full. I'll climb that tree and cling to its branches. I'll discover that your breasts are clusters of grapes, and that is your breath is the aroma of apples. Kissing you is more delicious than drinking the finest wine. How wonderful and tasty. She speaks, my darling, I'm yours and you desire me. Let's stroll through the fields and sleep in the villages. At dawn, let's slip out and see if grapevines and fruit trees are covered with blossoms. When we are there, I will give you my love, perfume from the magic flower. Fills the air, my darling, right at our doorstep. I've stored up for you all kinds of tasty fruits. She speaks. If you were my brother, I could kiss you whatever we happen to meet, whenever we happen to meet, and no one would say I did wrong. I could take you to the home of my mother, who taught me all I know. I'd give you delicious wine and fruit juice as well. 
Put your left hand under my head and embrace me with your right arm. Young woman at Jerusalem, promise me by the power of deer and gazelles never to awaken love before it is ready. Their friends speak. Who is the young woman coming from the desert and leaning on the shoulder of the one she loves? She speaks. I stirred up your passions under the apple tree where you were born. Always keep me in your heart and wear this bracelet. To remember me by. The passion of love bursting into flame is more powerful than death. Stronger than the grave. Love cannot be drowned by oceans or floods. It cannot be bought, no matter what is offered. The friends speak. We have a little sister whose breasts are not yet formed. If someone asks to marry her, what should we do? She isn't a wall that we can defend behind a silver shield. Neither is she a room that we can protect behind a wooden door. She speaks, I'm a wall around a city. My breasts are towers, and just looking at me bring him great pleasure. Solomon has a vineyard at Baal Haman, which he rents to others for a thousand pieces of silver each. My vineyard is mine alone. Solomon can keep his silver and the others can keep their share of the profits. He speaks, you're in the garden with friends all around. Let me hear your voice. She speaks, hurry to me, my darling. Run faster than a deer of, to mountains of spices. And that is the Song of Songs. Interesting, huh? Something that you, most people would not expect from the Bible. So if you like the Bible readings, please give me a thumbs up. And if you like, like the videos that me and my family do, please subscribe to our videos. Bye!